how of the above this is meta and in this tutorial series I will show you how to make a script editor in Visual Basic using Skimpila.net. Okay, so first of all, open your browser. I'm using Google Chrome and go to www.google.com. Uh, sorry, www.google.com and write Skimpila.net. Okay. And click the downloads. And wait for it to load. And just click this, okay? The Steam Tila Net Binaries 2.2.zip. Okay, this one. Just click it and choose I agree. And wait for the download to finish. And go to the place where you have downloaded. It should be on the My Documents Downloads. Now copy this file and go to Projects and just create a new folder and name it Script Editor. Now double click it and paste that file and unzip it using your favorite zip extractor. Now just delete it and rename it to Net only, okay? Okay, now mm, now you can Choose the README if you want to read anything. And there are many, many things which you can read. Sorry, not many. A few things. Okay, just close it for now. And copy the style laser. And go to your program files. Windows. System32, which will be hidden. So just click Tools, Folder Option, View, and click Show Hidden Files. Okay, and just uncheck Hide Extension and Hide Protected, and press OK, and you will get this hidden file. Okay, now click it to open and paste that DLL by using Ctrl V or right click and paste. So now you have it. Now, just delete all the unnecessary things. Okay, now open your Visual Studio and create new project. And name it Script Editor. Windows Forms and OK. Now wait for it to generate our project. It shouldn't take long. Hmm, I think my computer has a problem. Okay, it's finished. Just resize it a bit. Change the text to script editor. And go to toolbox and click choose items. I will pause the video in here so after it has been done I will continue
Okay, it has been loaded. Now click browse and go to your project directory which is scriptdirectorscintilla.net and click on scintilla.net okay now you should see scintilla on here make sure it is checked and click ok now wait again and there you have it you now have scintilla component now drag this scintilla component and drop it into the form now wait for it and now see it has been done as well now in the next tutorial i will show you many other things okay thanks for watching